staircase. A staircase can be placed in south and west part of the house. It's a heavy structure of the house and also should be aesthetically appealing. Construction of external staircase. If a staircase is to be placed in south west direction, it should be facing west. If it's in southeast direction, it should be facing east. If it is in northwest direction, it should face north. If it is constructed on southwest direction, it should face south. You always begin your stairs from north to south and east to west. That means while you climb, you can climb from north to south and then east to west. Number of stairs should be an odd number and also a non-zero ending number like 8, 12, 18, 16, etc. For a linear type of a staircase, it should raise from north to south and then east to west. It can be inside or outside of the house. No placement of bathroom, kitchen or puja room under a staircase. Many people tend to utilize the space under the staircase but placing bathroom, kitchen and puja room here has a negative impact. It blocks the energies. The space under the staircase can only be used for making a storage room or having a store. The turns of staircases should always be in a clockwise direction. We should avoid placing circular staircases in our houses. So these are few rules or guidelines that you can use while creating or constructing staircases to make it vastu compliant. So let's have a look at another element of residential vastu that is septic tank. Septic tank is where dirt of all the house gets collected and it has a very negative energies. You can place or plan placing a septic tank in northwest area. There should be no septic tank in center of the house. It's strictly prohibited. It should also not be in a southwest and a northeast area. Whenever you construct a septic tank, it should always be constructed one to two feet away from the compound walls, especially from north and west walls. Septic tank should not touch the compound wall. The effect of septic tank becomes partial on you if you are residing in an apartment. The outflow of the septic tank water should be in the best direction. The shape of septic tank should be square or rectangular. Make sure whenever you plan or place a septic tank, it should always be below ground. These are the few rules or guidelines while placing septic tanks to make it vastu compliant. Let's have a look at the last space at residential vastu, basements and parkings. Usually basements are not allowed as per vastu norms, but somehow if you have to plan it, it should be according to vastu norms. It can be planned in north and east area of the land. If you are planning to have a complete basement, that means it covers whole of the area of your land, the height of north and east area should be more than the south and west area. There should be no heavy electrical and metallic items in basements. Avoid placing or constructing basements under master bedrooms or in the northwest zone. Car parkings and servants room can be on northwest or southeast. Provision to receive sunlight should be made, preferably on north and east zones. Color of basement should be light and subtle. You should have basements in a shape of a square or rectangular. If possible, entry for the basement should be given from east direction. There should be no staircase in northeast corner of a cellar. There should be no stairs in northeast corner of basements. Now, let's take a look at guidelines for parking. If you have an east facing house, you can plan a parking in southeast zone or southeast direction. For a north facing house, you can have it on a northwest zone. For a west facing house, it should be on a northwest direction. For a south facing house, it can be made on southeast direction. You should avoid making or placing of parking over any feet, sum, or borewell. If there is to be a color to a parking space, it should be light blue, grey, or light green. The slope of parking place should be always to north and east zone. So these are few guidelines for parkings and placement to follow.